Hello students and welcome to week number two of the flipped classroom in real world experience. This week we're going to learn about the web quest. Now the web quest is an inquiry oriented lesson format in which most or all of the information that learners work with comes from the web. These can be created using various programs including a simple word processing document that includes links to websites. A web quest has six essential parts introduction, task, process, resources, evaluation, and conclusion. Hold on, hold on, whoa. I don't know about you, but what the heck does all that mean? Sometimes when we study a new pedagogy, we are lost in jargon and concepts that are completely foreign to us. Why don't we break this down nice and simple? Now that you have completed the Google Classroom website, the WebQuest can be an easy peasy project. We can complicate matters by including impressive jargon, but who needs to be impressed? I will break this concept down for you in simple and simple to follow terms. If you just follow along, you will be successful. Now the main points or criteria of a web quest are to start with a doable and interesting task. This means that you would think of something that you would like to teach in your classroom and then you decide if the WebQuest pedagogy is right for you. I will not use a WebQuest to teach vocabulary, rote skills, factual recall, simple procedures and definitions. Those would just be better done in a different pedagogy. Let's break this down a little bit further. If you have a project that you would like your students to complete, and this project includes research on the web, as well as creating an end project that helps them reach higher order thinking skills, then this is the place for you. Now, what are higher order thinking skills, you ask? Well, they include concepts like comparing, classifying, inducing, synthesis, problem solving, creativity, judgment, deducing, analyzing errors, constructing support, abstraction, and analyzing perspectives. I am going to assume that everyone understands these concepts. If there is a word that you do not understand, please look it up in Google to get a bit of help with the concept. These skills help students really learn a concept, not just be able to pass a test. Now it is vital that a web quest be just that, an adventure or quest on the web. Our students often feel like they need to power down during school, but why not channel that energy for good? Why not offer guided lessons that allow our students to learn from the World Wide Web, teach them to gather resources, analyze data, problem solve, make informed judgments, and bring some creativity to their homework? Okay, I know you are really excited now, so why don't we get started? Web quests don't have a time limit. Some web quests are short. You send students to go and learn about our founding fathers. They, they gather their data, they put together a script, and two hours later, they are presenting a play complete with costumes. Why not create a lesson that spans an entire year? Have your students learn about the weather, chart weather all year long, create vidcasts, which are videos, giving weather reports, and then create a web quest that shares the knowledge that they learned. What a fun and energetic classroom this would be. Sign me up. So now let's head over to the world of requirements. Although a necessary evil, your requirements should be used only to remind you of the things you can include. Don't let them stifle you and keep you from dreaming big. We will begin the process by learning the major components of the web quest, including introduction, task, process, resources, evaluation, and conclusion. So why don't we take a break here so that you can process the information presented so far. If you need to go back and review any of the information that we've gone over, feel free to replay this video. And please don't forget to send me questions through my Gmail email, through Canvas, well, Gmail's probably better, or through Google Chat. I'm sitting here every day waiting for you guys to contact me and don't let me get lonely. So come and have a chat with me. All right, process and come back to part two.